Welcome to Chillin' with Van Dillon, everybody. Today, I've got the pleasure of talking to Max Schuster, better known to everybody else as Max Velocity. Now, you may have seen him online with his weather forecast. Uh, he managed to build a huge following of over 1 million people before he even graduated college with a meteorology degree. So for many, he represents the future of meteorology. Max, you're out there, buddy, in Florida right now. Appreciate you joining me, yes, man. Sir. How you doing? Good to see you. Hey, thank, thanks for having me. I really appreciate you having me on here. Yeah, and you, you're a recent meteorology grad, right? You're no longer a student meteorologist. You're an actual working meteorologist, right? Yes, sir. I have a bachelor's in meteorology as of literally three months ago. So Awesome. Where'd you guys where'd yeah. you graduate? I graduated from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. It was in Daytona Beach, Florida. I grew up in New Hampshire. First 15 years of my life were all in New Hampshire. I met a lot of famous meteorologists up in New England, including a WCVB meteorologist whose name is Harvey Leonard, and he was one of my biggest inspirations. I remember up. him. <laughs> yeah, that, that's great. Yeah. So, And then you, you went from there, but you did weather for your middle school, right? You actually broadcasted for your classmates. Yeah, I did do broadcasts for middle school. We had TVs around the school, and I would essentially make a video every week, and it would just be posted up on the TVs, and it would be on repeat every so often, and people would be able to watch them across the school. I did the same thing in high school, too, when I moved to Texas. Matt, what was that like? So you're walking in the hall, and all your classmates are walking by. They stop to watch your weather broadcast. You're like, people knew me after a while. After they start seeing me on the TV screens, it's like, oh, that's that guy. It's <laughs> it's that guy that's doing the weather. You know, It was like I kind of opened up my uh, fr I basically made a lot more friends doing that, which is kind of funny. Yeah, listen, so, yeah. Who, needs, who needs to be the quarterback of the high school football team? When you're a meteorologist, man, you got it right here, right? Yeah, exactly. That's all you need. Okay, so you moved from New Hampshire to Denton, Texas, which is just north of Fort Worth, right, in the Dallas market right there. And that's when you started yes, to build a following during COVID, right? Isn't that how it happened? Yeah, so back in 2019, right before COVID happened, I was the high school meteorologist in Argyle, Texas. And uh, once COVID happened, I had a Facebook page called North Texas Weather Center that just kept growing and growing. And during COVID, I really took it more seriously. I only had like 500 followers when COVID began, and it, exp it basically exponentially grew. It went from you know 500 followers up to 6,000 by the end of the year. It was into the tens of thousands by the following year. So it just kept growing in North Texas. How do you think that happened? I mean, you're in a, a top Top 10 TV market in the country and here you are you're grabbing viewers away from the local TV how, how do you think that worked I think the biggest thing is that I think when you make a social media page, I, I was able to take a more personable approach, and that also goes with YouTube too. But on Facebook, I was able to, you know, kind of be myself basically. I didn't have any sort of boss that was making me do X, Y, and Z. I was just doing what I felt like doing. And over time, I think people just kind of, you know, grabbed attention to that. And I think over time too, more people are using social media for news and weather. And that is another reason why I think everything has just grown so much over the last few years. It's amazing. And everybody in Denton, Texas, they watched you. Do you still have a heart for Denton, Texas when everything breaks out? Are you still going right back there? I do. Yeah, 100%. I, I mean, I love covering North Texas. I'm so familiar with the area. It's very easy for me to cover. And even with my nationwide YouTube channel now called yeah. Max Velocity, I, I'm still able to cover North Texas really in depth. And I really focus on that market a lot because I do have such a large following in North Texas. And now that you got the meteorology degree and you're jumping to the national level where you're talking about national weather patterns, I mean, how's that changed? Yeah, it's a big difference. I mean, you go from t covering local markets, you're covering North Texas, which you're going in depth on temperatures, you're going in depth on it even being sunny outside on any given day. And you're also going in depth about severe weather. Now, when you go nationwide, you're covering all 50 states instead of a small little sector of the United States. So it's very different. Instead, you're talking about the general weather patterns across the country. You're still having to go specific on severe weather, but it's also harder to do that because I'm not just covering a local market or a local you know, city. We're, we're we're talking about a really large spectrum with these severe weather events. So when there's a high risk day of severe weather, I can't just talk about that. I've got to cover the entire right. area. So it is a lot harder to balance everything, but it's also a good challenge for me. Do you have a team of people working with you or is it just you? Yeah, so back in early parts of this year, so early 2025, we had no employees, and we're actually up to four now. So we've wow. actually expanded pretty quickly, and we are planning on hiring even more people as we go into 2026. Yeah, that's great. I was going to ask you your plans. Do you ever plan? I know you want to be a broadcast meteorologist, but what do you think? Are you thinking you're going to stick on the path you are right now, just in the social? 
Yeah, I, I mean, I love what I do. I mean, it's I have the freedom of what I feel like doing as well. And I'm honestly enjoying what I do. I, I don't really think, you know, going to the TV space right now is right for me, even though that was my intentional goal when I was in college. The social media world has just blown up so much over the last couple of years that I really enjoy what I do. So that's the main reason why I'm sticking with it. What have you learned from the feedback that you've gotten from viewers? Anything of note? Yeah, I mean, I, I always take all feedback into consideration, any cr criticism, constructive criticism, whatever it might be. And I mean, I always apply it to making basically our forecasts and live streams even better than they already are, because, you know, with viewers feedback the viewers are the ones that need the weather information and mm -hmm. any feedback that we get from them we have to apply it because it will help in the long run to being able to create a better product yeah you need to be able to pivot on a dime too if something changes it goes kinetic on somewhere else you got to really be able to hop over to that region uh, max it's been a pleasure to talk to you my man hope to talk to you again sometime brother well done yeah for sure this has been amazing i really appreciate you having me on yeah good luck to you man great stuff newly graduated too which yeah makes me proud Good stuff. We're still doing meteorology students. They're still doing well. Max, great.